you sure I can do this? Of course you can. Anybody can do it. Let's start with the small TV. Okay. Sometimes it's easier to see on a small screen. And once you see it here, we'll use the big one. Okay. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I feel like I'm taking a test or something. Oh, just relax. It's a game. You're going to love this. Think of it as a mystery or a puzzle. Now, it's going to take a while for you to see it the first time. Almost five minutes. Sometimes even a little longer. All right. I'm ready. Now, what exactly am I looking for? I'm not telling you. That's half the fun of it. Well, what do we do? How does it work? The stereogram is quite simple. Now, when you look at something, uh -huh. each eye has a different angle on it. And when your brain puts the two images together, it's perceived as depth or a 3D image. I don't know. It looks like rows and rows of little squiggly dots and squiggles and doodads to me. I, I, don't, I don't see a hidden picture. Yeah, but when you look at it the right way and both images combine, out pops the 3D image. Okay, I believe you. Well, let's get started. I'm tired of learning about them. I want to see them. Okay, just relax and keep looking at the stereogram. And remember, everyone has their own way of doing these things, so I'm going to tell you some of the ways that work for other people. All right, let's get going. All right, first, try and look through the picture rather than at it. Pretend the TV is a window. Or focus on the wall behind the TV and then bring the screen into your field of vision. I don't see anything yet. Well, that's fine. Don't, don't get tight about it. Very few people can see them on the first try. Now, I'm going to put on this light behind you. I want you to stare at the reflection in the screen. Or you can even stare at your own reflection in the black edge at the border. Are you sure there's something here? Yeah, now stay relaxed. <laughs> okay. Okay, blur your eyes. Don't cross them. Blur them by separating them. And take your time. I'm still not having any luck. All right, this is what worked for me. Try putting your face right up against the screen. Okay. <laughs> okay, now blur your eyes and pull back without changing your focus. If you start to get it and lose it, we'll just start over again. Move back and forth, experimenting with the distance, and remember which one is good for you. Now these stereograms are still for about a minute, then they begin to animate. Some people pick up the image when the animation begins. Adam, do you see it? Well, yeah, but I've been doing it for a while, so my eyes go to the right place themselves. At first, you have to learn how to trick your eyes. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and why don't you go through the directions one more time. Okay. Look through the picture. Focus on the wall behind the TV and slowly bring the screen into your field of vision. Turn on a light behind you and stare at the reflection. Concentrate on your own reflection in the border of the stereogram. Blur your eyes by spreading them rather than crossing them. Put your face right up against the screen and blur your eyes. Pull back slowly without changing your focus. Wait until the stereogram animates. Some people can see it then. If you lose the image when the animation begins, rewind and try it again. Well, Natalie, how you doing? Any luck? Yes, I see it. I see it. It's really there. Oh, it's moving. It's moving. Adam, this is great. I love it. Let's go on and see the rest.